What's up guys today's video is on the top 3 best Sony camera in 2024. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers so whether it's price performance or its particular use we've got you covered. For more information on the products I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Now let's get started. Number 3 Sony A7 III the Sony A7 III is an entry-level full-frame camera that goes well beyond the basics in features. With excellent image quality, 10 frames per second subject tracking, and 4K video capture. When it comes to its feature set, its BSI CMOS sensor excels in all types of light and offers incredible dynamic range. It can shoot at 10 frames per second with an autofocus system that covers almost the entirety of the image sensor and it has serious video chops too, recording smooth, sharp footage at 4K, and slow motion at 1080p. It runs circles around competing models in this price range, and is our editor's choice for entry-level full-frame shoppers. The A7 III feels a lot like the A7 II and A7 R 3 in the hand. It measures 3.9 by 5.0 by 2.5 inches HWD, without a lens, and weighs about 1.4 pounds. The camera also supports focus adjustment using the LCD when framing shots with the EVF. Just slide your finger on the display and the focus area will move. You can override the wide area setting with this method just as you can when shooting using the rear LCD to frame shots. The screen tilts up and down, but it doesn't swing out from the body to face forward like a true variangle display. The A7 III uses the Z battery, introduced in the A9 and also used by the A7R 3 It's good for 710 shots per SEPA ratings with the A7 III, as its power requirements are less than the A9 or A7R 3 both rated for 650 images per charge. Number 2 Sony Alpha ZV E1 The Sony ZV E1 is Sony's first full-frame interchangeable lens vlogging camera sitting above the entry-level Sony ZV-E10. With a fully articulated touchscreen, no viewfinder, and a stereo MIC built into the top plate, it looks very much like a larger ZV-E10, with a touch of DNA from the compact Sony 7C. In many ways, it builds off of the foundation the ZV-E10 built as a dedicated vlogging alternative to Sony's Alpha lineup. Inside, however, is a 12-megapixel sensor similar to the ones found in the Sony 7S III Sony's resident full-frame video and cinema powerhouses. That, along with a sophisticated autofocus system, and plenty of AI-enabled features designed to make high-level content creation as accessible as possible. The Sony ZV E1 is a very good vlogging camera, particularly for those who tend to shoot in less controlled lighting conditions or in low light and can benefit from its full-frame sensor. If you want a high-end video camera but don't care about the nitty-gritty of videography, this camera is for you. Its many shooting modes and AI-enabled features make it easy to become a one-person vlogging enterprise if that's your goal. Just be aware that it can overheat quite easily. The camera's battery life is excellent. With a 570-shot SEPA rating. Number 1 Sony Alpha 7.4 the Sony A7 IV is the eagerly awaited sequel to the popular A7 III. This full-frame mirrorless camera isn't trying to be as groundbreaking as its predecessor, instead concentrating on refinements to the successful hybrid formula including a new 33MP full-frame sensor, an upgraded autofocus system with support for Sony's real-time tracking, and 10-bit video for more flexibility with creative color grading. The body is magnesium alloy and suitable for use in rainy conditions. Sony added a couple of features to help combat sensor dust, too. The IBIS system vibrates to shake dust away, and you can set the camera to close the shutter when it's powered off so there's less of a chance that dust gets on it when you change lenses. Sony has made a few changes to the top plate controls but hasn't moved too much around. The shutter release remains on top of the hand grip with an integrated on-off switch. The front control dial is right ahead, incorporated into the grip. The A7 IV uses a 0.78x magnification viewfinder with a 3.68 million dot OLED panel. The viewfinder refreshes at a smooth 60 frames per second in its standard mode, but offers a high readout, 120 frames per second mode that is more suitable for action photography. 
it's the best battery around for full frame mirrorless cameras in terms of longevity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.